people i'm bharat acharya welcome to our new video so today we are solving gate questions from the year 2022 yes this year's paper latest questions questions from our subject computer organization architecture so what i've done is i've analyzed this year's paper picked up seven questions which relate to our subject i'm going to be solving each one of them we'll give you the solution the logic and most importantly the shortcuts to get these answers as quickly as possible anyway. now some questions are straightforward they are theory questions like this is a theory question you read the question if you know your theory very well by the time you finish reading the question you know the answer you don't even need to look at all the alternates you know your answer already like look at this this is a numerical kind of question r1 r2 two registers they have four bit numbers they are sign numbers in two's complement form you got to add them and you got to figure out whether they generate an overflow or not now there are four sets of values that they've given for each of them you got to do addition and then figure out an overflow addition will be faster if you have practice overflow figuring out whether there is an overflow or not will be faster if you know the shortcut that i'm going to tell you anyway there are lots of ways of figuring out but there's one simple way with no calculation that required just looking at the solution you come to know whether there is an overflow or not anyway so we'll be doing that in the next look at this such a big question what is big analyzing what the question is the answer is so easy to figure out by the time we finish reading when we going to solve this i'm not going to show you the four options at all i'll just show you this along with the diagram we'll do one read that's the key in the exam you can't read the question over and over again you have wasted the time the time of this question is over now you're eating the time of the next question so that shouldn't be happening so we'll do one good read while doing the read every number that we come across we will make a note of it at the relevant place in the diagram by the time we finish reading <laughs> our analysis is over we already have the answer you will I, you will notice that by the time we reach here we already have the answer of this question we just have to look at the correct alternate pick it up and finish the sum next come on how many times this has come in while doing this also i told you remember when we did this we did a whole lecture on page replacement and those numericals of page replacement and i told you this is something that keeps coming again and again which are the various algorithms tell me P4, LRU, LFU, Optimal. You have questions for all of them, and each of them has a shortcut. Remember, while doing it, I told you there's a star method, the count method. We're going backwards to the number of frames you require, and so on. Anyway, anyway. So what we're going to do? These are the pages that are requested. So we'll make a table one by one. We bring in all the pages. We'll detect hits. We'll come to know page faults. We'll do replacement by the correct algorithm, LRU. By the time we're done with the table, we'll know how many hits are there, how many page faults are there. there the ratio will be right in front of us the next one one of our favorite topics these are standard topics remember when we did floating point numbers we have done three full lectures on floating point numbers and i told you it's hard to find a paper where you don't have one question from this topic at least one sometimes you have multiple now floating point numbers uh they have sign they have exponent they have matrix so here what they've done is they've given you three numbers each of them is written in hexadecimal form students look at this they don't understand what to do hello these are floating point numbers so first thing you need to do is expand the number in binary identify the sign the biased exponent the mantissa figure out the true exponent substitute it in the format get the number this has to happen fast everybody knows you got to do it please understand you got to do it for three numbers so there are tricks involved by which you can quickly figure out what those three numbers are once you know what those three numbers are these statements will become so obvious if i tell you the numbers are minus 12 12 and 36 you can just immediately tell which is the correct statement over here which is true which is false so the key is to look at these numbers and figure out their actual values as soon as possible the next one is a question on cache where it's a theory question you know cache consistency maintaining the same data in cache memory and main memory there are two approaches followed uh what are those two approaches wt and wb come on what are the full forms write back and write through in one of them the processor updates both the other of them processor updates only cache memory and the cache control updates the main memory so i'm going to show you the diagram i'll show you the working we will not even touch this whole these options i'll just show you the diagram and show you how both these caches work automatically you will know what's going on as you read these statements instantly the answers will come out and lastly a question on cache mapping techniques uh remember when i taught you this that big smile on my face you see it again i told you there's some topics like cache mapping 
uh, serial communication, memory designing. These are topics that blow your mind away. They're fun to learn. They're even fun to teach. In the class, when you teach this, you can see that those that twinkle in the eyes of the students, how excited they get when they learn these topics because they, on the face of it, they're very complex. Once you understand them, they become so simple. They fall down like a pack of cards. Now, cash mapping. You got to finish cash mapping this whole sum in a matter of minutes. So I'm going to show you how to orally figure out most of the things. Some things cannot be orally figured out like TQ, RS are the addresses which they've given in hex. So you need to expand them in binary, but that's the only paperwork you need to do. The rest of the things can be figured out just in your mind and immediately you'll come to know what is the tag size, what is the block size and what is the location size. Remember the three parts of the main memory address. Once you know tag, block and location, then this question is nothing. You know that for PQRS, you'll come to know immediately what's happening in these four options. I'll know which is true, which is false. Now, these are the questions that came from our subject. I want you, when you finish this video, to have the confidence that if something from these come again in my exam, I'm going to crack it. If not the same question, something around it, twist it, turned around, as long as the logic pertains to all of these, I'm going to crack it. And yes, when you prepare for gate, something as big as gate, solving other exams becomes much easier. Solving college exams becomes very easy. If you have COA, even in your semester coming up right now, knowing these kind of questions, you will find your college questions so easy to solve. Anyway, so we're going to be doing all of this. This was the introduction. Now. You want to watch the whole video, you want to learn the entire subject from me and enjoy learning it, come on my website, www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link, of course, is given below. Over there, you will see many of my courses on my website, 8085, 8086, 386, Pentium, 8050 on ARM, COA. This video, of course, is there in the COA course. Select the course you want, uh, make the payment. The fees are 1,499 for any one course. Of course, if you take multiple courses, you get a discount. The more courses you take, the bigger discounts you get. What do you get with this uh, subscription? You get six months of access to the course that you selected, in which you can watch not only all the videos which are already there, but also the videos that I keep adding during those six months. I, we keep making videos. Uh, like this one right now we're making for the COA course. A few days back we made a video for 8050 on course. As I keep getting requests, now there's a very heavy request for students for RAID in COA. So that will be, that's in the pipeline, could be coming up anytime. And various topics, whichever topic students request for, I make videos for those. But anyway, uh, you get six months access, unlimited views. You can watch any video any number of times. So many uh, websites cap. So in so video lecture can be seen five times, ten times, etc. We don't have that. You want to watch it again and again. You want to master the subject. I'll only be too happy. That's more like a compliment to me that you want to watch the video again and again. So there is no limit to the number of times you watch a video. You get PDFs. This is your one-stop shop. No textbooks required. You learn the subject or you learn the topic from the video. You Right in front of it, you'll see a link called View Notes. Click on that and the PDF will open. That sets you for your theory exam. Now, in your college, your exam may be conducted in various ways. If you have a theory exam, those PDFs will take care of that. If you have VIVAs, because engineering is incomplete without VIVAs, most colleges take them. So you've got VIVAs, no worries. We have a whole PDF of latest VIVA questions, which we keep updating all the time. Your college takes exams in multiple choice questions formats, which is the new thing. It's picking up like all entrance exams, all big exams, competitive exams, all MCQ types. But college exams are traditionally theory exams, but due to what happened in the last two, three years, most colleges have started wrapping the MCQ format. Even I like it. I'm a big advocate for it because theory you can by heart and write. MCQs you can do nothing about. Like all the questions that I've done right now, whatever you by heart, it goes for a toss. Except for the first question, which was the straightforward theory question. Everything else comes from here. You understand the subject, only then you can answer them. So though you have MCQ, so you'll get PDFs of Viva questions. PDFs of MCQs constantly updated, plus PDFs of the full notes, plus you get direct access to me, your teacher. Whenever you have a doubt, that's my WhatsApp number. Text me as soon as I'm free. Maybe at that time, maybe an hour later, maybe by the end of the day. As soon as I'm free, I will definitely reply. All right? That's my website. Come on, start learning. Stop being on the fence. Stop planning. This is the time to execute. Move on. Others are doing it. Don't be left behind. See you there. We are going, going ahead with it. Wish you all the best. Do well.